Time to catch up with UTRGV women's basketball. My name's Jonah Goldberg, and this is the one and only head coach of the UTRGV women's basketball team, Larry Tidwell. Uh, thank you, Jonah. Uh, I'm going to get through this show. That's what I'm supposed to do as a head coach. Uh, we're getting uh, ready for a very intense road trip to Seattle and Cal State Bakersfield that is going to have a lot to do with determining the fate of our uh, season this year and coming off a very hard loss, a very disappointing loss at home against GMKP. Yeah, 59-57 the final at halftime. I think you're up by about 11 and uh, push that lead out to as many as 12. But what, would, what did Missouri-Kansas City do so well uh, in the second half to come back in that? Well, I mean, they hit shots. Uh, they, they did a good job of hit shots. They got a lot of 50-50 uh, balls and basically they they got to us in the lane. They, they did a good job of, of out hustling us and Finish at the, finishing at the rim, they hit 48% of the shots in the second half. I got to do a better job of making adjustments. Uh, some of the positives in that game, you know, Shante Goff has been on a nice shooting streak lately and season high 25 points. Well, she did. She made some good decisions. Uh, got a ball to the rim at the end of the game, you know, and it just didn't go. I mean, and, but I'd like for her, I mean, nine out of ten times she's going to make that shot. Uh, got a good effort, you know, he'll uh, – Anusha was back in the ball game. I mean, good to have her back. Almost had a double-double. Had to set out three games. And uh, she came back with 11 points, eight rebounds. Rock was very solid again. Uh, Hilder <coughs> on the boards with nine boards. You know, you appreciate what you're getting out of there. And Bernie played. I mean, we played hard the majority of the time. They just did some things to us. And like I said, I got to do a better job making adjustments. What does it do to have Maldonado back in the lineup after missing her for those three games? Well, she's solid. She's very solid. She's going to play hard on both ends of the floor. She's going to rebound. She can hit inside. She can hit outside. Uh, I just like what, what she does for us. Uh, Tristan Murphy, a couple of minutes off the bench, had a, couple, uh, had a basket, a few free throws, a rebound, had just come off of a, a big game against Utah Valley as well. Yeah, we, uh, we're looking for our bench to really help us a lot. and. Uh, like I said, I got a bunch of young ones over there. So right now, as you go down the stretch, you use a little bit more experience, and we'll just go from there. So uh, this is your final two-game weekend of the year. After that, it's a couple of one-game weekends, and then the, the WAC tournament. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it sort of gets, gets us out of rhythm. I, I like the point of where I like to be in a rhythm, and I, I just want to I, I get back on the floor. I hate playing a week in between, week in between. I want to get back on the floor and play. So it is what it is. That's the way the WAC is set up, so we'll do it and get ready to concentrate. We want to stay in second place. That's important for us at the conference tournament and get ready for uh, get ready for Vegas. Well, uh, you get back on the floor on Thursday. You go to Seattle, and that was a team you had a, a hard-fought game against here at the Fieldhouse a few weeks ago. You know, we've lost uh, three games at the Fieldhouse, and started out the year I think we were like 7-0 at the field house and we've got to get our mojo back at you know on the floor and and now we got to travel and traveling is hard in the whack you know we leave Wednesday morning at 4:30, go to Seattle go up there and land mm -hmm. stretch out <coughs> watch a little video study hall uh, we are going to take them to the fish market to eat. you know mm -hmm. we're, we, we like to do things for our players but then we go back study video practice get up study hall, watch video, practice, and get ready for a game on Thursday night. I'm guessing you've gone to the fish market before. Have you ever caught a fish? Uh, we've gone to the fish market, but no, I try to stay away from there. I just look <laughs> at it from afar. And then uh, Bakersfield uh, right after that. Bakersfield, tough game. We play Thursday night, then we travel, then we turn right around and play at 1 o'clock on Saturday. So, tough, tough road trip. Well, UTRGV back in action Thursday at 9 p.m. Central Time, 7 Pacific, as they head out to Seattle, and then a midday game at CSU Bakersfield on Saturday, and we'll have links to the broadcast live stats and everything else you could want over at GoUTRGV.com. He's Larry Tidwell. He's the head coach of the UTRGV women's basketball team. This is Jonah Goldberg, the guru of media relations. We're going to get our visa up, and we're going to get this, uh, going to get this ship righted, and, and we're going to finish strong, and we're definitely trying to get to postseason for the second year in a row. All right, sounds good. Bees up.